What up, Interverse? Josh here from Polymathics, the YouTube channel that helps you become a modern day Renaissance man. And today, we are actually going to talk about a Renaissance man, so to speak. And we're going to talk about Plato. And for those of you who aren't aware, Plato is very famous for a lot of things, but one of them is uh, his analogy of the cave. And before I get into that, what I actually want to do is quote Aristotle, who was Plato's teacher, um, who said, and, okay, when I say quote, I'm actually paraphrasing, so bear with me here. He essentially said that all wise men are wise because they know that they don't know everything. And because they know that they don't know everything, they constantly search for more information. They constantly search for wisdom. Fools, on the other hand, he said, think they know everything, and therefore they don't look for more information, and they never find wisdom. Again, that's a paraphrase, not exact quote. Now, the reason why I'm telling you this is because it ties directly in to Plato's analogy of the cave and I'm not going to read it off word for word if you want to I'm sure there's YouTube videos that actually do that and there's also you could look it up on the internet I trust in your Google foo you can karate judo chop search that and you'll be able to figure it out you'll be able to read through it but essentially the the, the main story here is that Plato was trying to explain, pardon me, my nose is itchy. He was trying to explain what happens when someone goes through a revelation, when someone is enlightened, when someone has an epiphany. And essentially what he said was, it's like being in a cave where there's a fire behind you and you're kind of chained up. And so that fire casts light in your direction but along the cave wall in front of you all you see are the shadows and they move back and forth and so you believe that those shadows are the real world you believe that that is the only truth that exists in the world what's going on with those shadows but then what happens is in his analogy of the cave, of the cave, he, the a person, their chains are unbound, and they're released, and at first they're a little scared, they're not sure what to do, but eventually they move up and they they like you know they touch the wall and they see it's just the wall and the then they start to explore the cave and they see that there's a fire there, and that. What the fire does is it casts shadows along the wall and that, that those shadows aren't really the reality of it all. They're not everything that exists in the world. And then, then what happens is as the person explores even more, they come to realize that, that they're, you know, that they're in just a cave and they, they look more and more and they find an opening. And when they come out into the opening, it totally blows their mind because they they see the sun for the first time, which is this giant fire in the sky, way bigger than the little thing that was in the cave. And it illuminates everything. And for the first time, they see the world for what it really is. They realize how small their world was. And so they've got, they've had this great epiphany and they want to share it with all the others who are locked up and chained up with them. And so they run back into the cave and they go to the others and they try to tell them about this great fire and, and the sun and all the, all the things they saw outside of the cave and how beautiful it was. But because the others are still chained and shackled, they can still only understand the shadows on the wall and they they don't they don't necessarily they don't really believe 
the person who's been enlightened. And so the reason why I'm sharing this with you is because as we're on our life's journey, and particularly those of us who are who consider ourselves to be polymaths and are trying to to follow the polymath paradigm and and follow in the footsteps of great thinkers like Aristotle and Plato, we're going to have the same kind of difficulty. And it, if it hasn't happened to you already, I guarantee you it will. And that is, you're going to have revelations as you come across new things and people who are still locked in the shackles of their own small reality are not going to realize the greater picture in the bigger world. And uh, we see this throughout history time and time again. Columbus is a really good example of a, of a, of a past Renaissance man who, who saw the future. And he wasn't the only one who thought that the world was round, but he was one of the few people at the time in that high of a respectable position, I guess you could say, that was willing to speak out against the the popular thought that the world was flat. And it's it's that same kind of mentality that we face every day. There are genuine people out there who have great brilliant ideas and they're shunned because society isn't ready to unshackle themselves. And it goes back to Aristotle's quote about the wise man and the fool. So if if that happens to be you and you're caught up in that struggle, just bear with it and and eventually the world comes around. Unfortunately, it's not always on our timetable. And unfortunately, sometimes we don't get to see it. But the world does come around eventually the truth will come to light but if that is the case you just have to you know stay calm <laughs> and and press on and persevere and if i can talk about one of my other favorite authors which is robert green in the 48 laws of power uh one of the things he talks about and I can't remember the exact law but it's essentially uh, think what you want to think in your own mind but in your outward actions appear like everyone else and that's essentially so people don't think you're a crackpot you may have really brilliant great ideas but if they go too much against the grain then people will really persecute you we've seen it throughout history so you you don't want to be the person who is fighting for so much change at such a rapid speed that it it totally derails your cause because nobody is on board if that makes any sense and um so anyways hopefully this has been some in, you know insightful at least now you're familiar with the allegory of the the cave by Plato and <clears throat> if you found this information helpful then please give me a like and if you'd like to hear more then feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will get all of my new content as it becomes available until next time take it easy <laughs>